Hey there you guys, welcome back. Today, uh, well, you guys have asked for it. We are going to look at the plumerias. And what was the other thing? There was plumerias and the amaryllis. We're going to look at both of those today. Uh, it's very sunny. The sun's right up there. <laughs> anyway, uh, just uh, lounging. It's a beautiful day. Not too hot. It's uh, still early in the morning. The sun is shining. Can't ask for much more than that. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to be out in the garden, just uh, having a good time. Might as well shoot some videos. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for a lot more updates. Uh, some things need to get pruned, some things need to get just tended. So uh, yeah, a lot, lots of things to do and see. Uh, so, But today we're going to look at the plumerias and uh, the amaryllis. But not the plumeria seedlings, because we looked at those uh, in the past um, video when we did the community garden plot. Those ones will be in the community garden plot from now on uh, until the end of the season. So anyway, without further ado, let's get in here and check this out. So I don't really have a name for any of these plumerias, as you probably remember. Uh, they're growing fine from uh, dormancy. I wish that I knew the colors. Uh, one we know is a pink, but uh, I don't know what the other ones are. One is supposed to be an orange, and I think the other one is supposed to be yellow and white, but I'm not too sure. Um, I keep looking in here and it doesn't appear like there's any inflow starting. I carefully try to to pull the new leaves around to see if I can see anything. Find my little piece of broccoli that is a flower bud. But I don't seem to see that. Let's go over to the other side here. A little spider that's uh... Look at, did I just... Is he on me? Gross! <laughs> I don't like spiders, but uh, they do the trick. I just wrecked his web, the poor guy. So I don't see any inflows on this one either. Uh, these are about three feet tall, maybe a little bit taller. Uh, I don't know whether you saw me planting these, but uh, I ended up um, putting the purple uh, shamrocks in here. I wasn't expecting them to get so big. I was expecting this to be a uh, petunia uh, planter, but as you can see, it is not a petunia planter. It is an oxalis or shamrock uh, container. <laughs> it still looks really, really pretty, but uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. As the season progresses, I hope that the, the petunias get a little bit bigger and uh, take over a little bit more. So anyway, this is Plumeria number one, looking really nice. Over here at the side of the house are the other two amaryllis, or sorry, um, plumerias. Uh, these ones aren't looking so good, not as good as the one in the back. Um, I still, as as I do with the other one, I, I try to see in here to see if there's any little bits of broccoli, um, the inflows. Um, these plants seem like they're a little bit smaller, but uh, they're still doing okay. This one is funny because this one is just now starting to put out leaves which is pretty amazing. I would have expected them to uh, be putting out leaves a lot sooner. This one has little bits of white on it. it Look like white fly, but it's not. So, this one is still very, very slow. This, um, oh, spider lily is almost ready to flower. I'll have an update on that when it blooms. Those are really, really stunning flowers. And uh, just so you're aware, I will be using, or I have been using, um, this Miracle Grow uh, Ultra Bloom. It's a 153015 fertilizer, uh, meant for uh, getting plants to flower more productively. Uh, so uh, I'll let you know how this one works with the plumeria. Um, if any of you have any tips on how to make uh, plumerias bloom uh, prolifically, let me know. I'd love to know what your tricks are. I know that uh, some of you make up your own fertilizers. So uh, yeah, let me know. And we've got the amaryllis over here. Got a whole bunch of amaryllis. These are all just growing in their pots, uh, getting more and more sun. This is the uh, amaryllis, <coughs> excuse me, neon. Leaves are looking nice. This is a group planting with the black pearl, the um, papilo, and evergreen. And I've just got a bunch of other uh, amaryllis just doing what they do. Their bulbs are. Uh, are getting nourished by the uh, by the sun and the warm weather and the fertilizer that uh, I feed regularly. 
these plants with. Um, I'm having a problem now with uh, with some uh, chipmunks and uh, trying to resolve that, but uh, it'll probably be a never-ending battle. Once you get chipmunks, they seem to stay forever. So they've been digging in a lot of pots, pulling things out, and, and just uh, causing a mess. But anyway, these are the amaryllis. Looking pretty good. Recharging. This one here is actually quite funny. Uh, it... Uh, it started growing, but then it stopped, and now it's back to dormant again. But it's got uh, two side bulbs. It's got this one right here, and then this one on this side. So that's the same as the parent plant. And this one is Papilo. So anyway, uh, stay tuned for more updates, and uh, yeah, happy growing everyone. We are at the community garden plot. So uh, I've been kind of neglectful of it. Uh, I haven't been here, well I came yesterday. And I noticed that there was just a 